We are here at the Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts where we're showing people how to make marshmallows. It's a marshmallow word, Christine. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> easier than people might think. Very much easier, yes. So we're making marshmallows, but we're making them special today because we're doing um, them passion fruit flavored. And so they're very simple to make. You can use passion fruit or any juice that you can get at a grocery store. So what do we actually have inside here right now? In here we have our fruit juice with our meringue powder, which you can get at most craft stores or high-end um, or any culinary store. Okay. And then over here, we have our sugar that is cooking. We want to cook our sugar to a specific temperature, so we have our thermometer um, that will give us a reading. We're looking for 125 degrees Celsius. Once it hits that reading, uh, we are going to slowly pour it into our whipping our whipping meringue. So as you're doing that, it's actually sugar that's just melted, or did you put water or There's anything else There's a bit of in water okay. in here, yes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn up our mixer and we're going to pour in our hot sugar and it's going to make, it's going to stabilize that meringue. But to also stabilize our meringue, we are going to add gelatin. So I have soap gelatin right here. I'm going to put it in the pot. We're going to let it melt really quickly. And then we're going to add it into our whipping passion meringue. Okay, so obviously we have to let that melt. You would mix that in there. Yes. Um, and then you would what? Would then, once it's cooled down about five minutes, once it's cooled down about five minutes, we're going to transfer it into this pan that has okay. uh, cornstarch and powdered sugar. We're going to let it sit for at least six to eight hours, or overnight is perfect. And then you should be able to cut it, and it looks like... Just like this. Something like this. And wonderful tart passion flavor. Oh, that would be delicious in some of our nice warm holiday drinks, don't oh, yes. you? Yes. Oh, we're getting ready for the holidays here at the Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts. Jody and Riaz, coming up in the seven o'clock hour, it's a bit of a two-part process. We are going to be making the Yule Log, and and then uh, just before 8 o'clock, we'll be decorating it. So it's a 7 o'clock hour you don't want to miss on BT. At the Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts. And um, Christine, we actually have a full house here. This is kind of the normal day of your students. Yes, it is. We have, um, this is the AM Advanced Baking and Pastry class. And it starts with the baking off of the breakfast pastries and the breads for the day. So Erica is over here getting the breads ready to go into the oven. And then over at the back, we have Bernice, who is taking care of the croissants. So she's already mixed the dough and she's about to start getting all that butter into those croissants. And then we have Samantha and Rory who are getting our bread ready for the day um, for service and for uh, the bakery. And the bakery opens at 9 o'clock. You want to make your way here, try some of those croissants. But we're getting people ready for Christmas uh, with our bouche de Noël, which actually means... Uh, it's a Yule log. A Yule, Yule log. log. So Christmas log, that's the bush part, the log, yes. or the bush that we shove it into <laughs> later, right? What do you have going here? Uh, right now I have my um, Swiss roll, which is really nice and flexible. I have some jam, uh, just a little bit of raspberry jam that I'm spreading on nice and thin onto here for a little bit of flavor. And then next I'm going to put some filling into it. So I have some white chocolate whipping ganache right here. It has cream and white chocolate into it. I made it yesterday and it sat in the fridge overnight. Then I whipped it up just like whipped cream this morning. So I'm going to put this inside. We're going to spread it and then we're going to roll it up. Now while you continue to spread that, obviously we have students that are hoping and working towards a career in culinary arts, but you also have lots of different classes for just everyday people that want uh, a bit more experience, right? We do. We have uh, classes called Basics in Eight, which are classes that run for eight Saturdays in a row, and uh, they are both in culinary and also in uh, pastry as well. Excellent. Now we're going to continue to make our Boosh. Yule log. So you are rolling it up. We are going to finish our Yule log coming up in the next segment, Michelle, right around 10 to 8. Here at the Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts located at 1505 West 2nd, which is just at the entrance of Granville Island. And right now, what are we seeing, Christine? This is one of our new breads we have. It is a pumpkin raisin sourdough loaf. And uh, it's a fantastic bread, especially for the holidays. It's the season for pumpkin. And it's available at the bakery right here, which opens at 9 o'clock. You've also got a great bistro that's open. And this is the final week until you guys close down for the Christmas break. So it's a great opportunity to try some wonderful meals by some emerging chefs. Now we got to get our Christmas uh, log going here. Yes, we do. So we're just finishing off our Bouche de Noël. We had a raspberry jam with white chocolate on our Swiss roll. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it. 
and look how beautiful that is. Wow. We have Gorgeous. a nice roulade. We'll cut it again on this side. Out of this one roll, we can get two um, cakes out of it. So now I'm going to transfer it onto the plate. And then we are going to finish up with our decorating. Okay, so what do we have to decorate so with? So I have some buttercream. Um, so what we'll do um, is we can do a nice ribbon across the top just like this. Do you want to give that a try? Sure, I, uh, let's, let's there see. There you go. I have oh, yeah. no doubt in your ability as an instructor, <laughs> but let's see how good of a student just, I am. Oh, just squeeze a bit harder. Yeah, wave back and forth. That's perfect. Not bad, not there bad. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And then we can also pipe some nice uh, little pearls around the outside side just like this and then we also have some marzipan leaves um, and some little silver Christmas balls. Now for people that take any I mean obviously those that are studying the culinary arts as a career I mean things get quite extensive when it comes to the instruction but there are ways that people can learn little basic things that may help them in their everyday life in baking. Yes of course so we offer um, courses I mentioned before we have our basics in eight for pastry but we also have some classes that are um, specialized in uh, just one day let's say of French macaron or eclairs or more details on the website make your way here to the Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts where I think you did a great job teaching me I'm going to keep working on our bouche de noel and it's a great morning here at Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts where Christine it's already very busy what kinds of things are the students working on right now well we have some students that are preparing some uh, individual pastries for our display case and then we also have some students doing uh, some catering project as well we have a catering event happening later on um, so they're just finished Finishing up uh, the fine touches on, on that over in the back and we also have our chocolate room packaging truffles. There's a lot of activity going on in the morning. And even just getting ready for lunch today, Bistro 101 open as well as the bakery uh, through this week and then you're shut down for yes. the Christmas break. Speaking of Christmas, chocolate Christmas trees, come on. Yes, so part of our advanced baking and pastry program, the students learn how to work with chocolate. And so what we do for the holidays is we make these beautiful chocolate Christmas trees. And so um, we've got one that's completed, one that's it's not quite completed and one that's halfway there. So you're gonna help me glue the branches on. And I've got the cold spray. You've got as the cold well. spray. So your glue is essentially what? Chocolate. Chocolate. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna put a little bit of chocolate on there. I'm gonna stick it and then you're gonna spray white right where I put the chocolate. And then that's going to make the chocolate set faster for us. Now as far as your chocolate cone, is that basically a chocolate molded with you know paper? How yep, does that work? Exactly. Oh, okay. We just grabbed some paper and turned it upside down and we filled it with uh, with chocolate. We had the chocolate partially set, then we tip it out so it's not solid, it's hollow. Okay. And then um, the leaves are made by using either a knife or a spoon onto a piece of parchment paper and it sets. And then we just take each individual leaf and oops, and then we start gluing. So, so the students that graduate from the various programs here at PICA, um, they could go on to work at some of your finer hotels, some of the great restaurants. Yes, of course. Um, the skills that they learn here are introductory skills to all things baking and pastry. Um, so we cover breads, we cover um, cakes, pastries. We do a little wedding cake segment so the students get to practice making wedding cakes. They get an opportunity to do the chocolate room here and then of course um, dessert service for a restaurant. And I was looking too at some of the different individual courses you have for the everyday public and what a great gift idea. Something like, I'm, I'm actually thinking, I have to tell you Jody and Riaz, um, of signing up for their new study wine level one which I believe kicks off at the end of January. Mm -hmm. So so many things that people can do even if they just want a taste of something kind of professional, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Such great work they're doing here at the Pacific Institute of Culinary Arts for all of the courses that I just sort of alluded to with Christine this morning you can check out their website we're gonna keep working on our little tree here um, maybe it'll maybe it'll look like something semi-professional by the time I'm done with the guys work in progress <laughs> work in progress right there